Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with Red Dead Redemption Online. If you enjoy this video, please put on a cowboy hat and go down to your local park and then proceed to jump on random people's backs, riding them like a bull as you scream, Yeehaw, Modest Pelican is a YouTuber, as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. So I log in and instantly receive some free gold bars from Rockstar. You know how they say weed is the gateway drug? Well, these free gold bars are like the gateway microtransaction that give players a sweet taste of that pay to win life. They hope players will buy themselves like a Gucci cowboy hat in the hope they get hooked on the spending and the next thing you know they are puffing on that microtransaction crack pipe all day long. Speaking of crack pipes, look at my character. A heart full of that cowboy ambition and ants crawling under his skin from you know, the crack withdrawals. Anyway, I spawn into the game right next to a carrot, which of course I eat as it's a great source of fibre, vitamin K1, potassium, and various antioxidants. Some would say carrots are the crack of the vegetable world. Okay, I'm sorry, I'll stop relating everything back to crack now. I haven't played this game in a while, but it seems the last time I did play, I named my horse Big D. Pelican of the past, you have done me proud. So I take my Big D and we ride off literally into the sunset together, and oh my days, I forgot how good looking this game was. God really needs to upgrade his game engine so he can compete with Rockstar's graphics. Out of nowhere, a gang of players rides past and doesn't even try to kill me. What miracle am I a part of right now? Did they just not see me? But then no, they are genuinely friendly. What a beautiful gaming moment. They even invite me to join their gang. What absolute legends. My new friends and I go hunting and we are having such a good old fashioned time. It's honestly so rare to come across players like this and then the server disconnects. Mother. So I load back into a new server, ready to tackle some fresh challenges I guess, and then a cougar stream snipes me and tries to maul my face. I once saw a video of a zookeeper, no joke, hugging a cougar like it was a house pet, and needless to say, this was not that same cougar. Mother so I load back in, ready to tackle some new challenges, and guess who just loaded into my game? The legend himself, Stealth Omato. I lasso him and trip him over because I'm just that kind of friend. I mean, what am I going to do? Wave to him like a normal person? No thanks. Mato decides we need to settle this like men, and we agree to have a knife fight to the death. He says, hey Pelly, that's not a knife, this is a knife, and then proceeds to pull out a lantern. I see my window of opportunity and stab him in the heart. GG, get good scrub. At this point in a duel, an honourable cowboy would be humble and shake hands and then move on. But honour is for soulless gingers, so instead I pick up Mato's body and dump it down in front of him after he respawns. I then teabag his corpse in what is truly a disturbingly disrespectful act. Expecting Mato to just shoot me in the head or something, but no, he then dismounts his horse and goes ahead and teabags his own body. What an a thousand IQ reversal play. I mean, I think. But is this like necrophiliac self-pleasure? Jeez, let's just move on. We mount our steeds and another player rides past. It was a class move how that gang earlier recruited me, so we decide that we will pay it forward and invite this guy to our gang. We get close and he's acting a little bit sketchy and then sure enough, he kills Mato's horse, which is obviously not the kind of attributes we are looking for in a new recruit and so I am forced to put him down. I do, however, admire his spirit as he did try to kill us both to despite being outnumbered. However, his spirit was easily broken with my shotgun. Anyway, it's time to head to the city of Blackwater to play some poker. Unfortunately though, this is literally the first time ever Mato has played Red Dead Online, and his low level horse apparently has type two diabetes and smokes a pack a day, as it can barely gallop 100 meters before passing out. He really needs to take that steed down to Los Santos Customs. So we have to ride over to Blackwater like this. Insert bro back mountain joke. We arrive and head straight to the saloon to drink some beers and play some poker. The bad news is it costs $25 to play poker and Mato doesn't have that much as he is fresh off the boat. I feel like a rich Arab prince hanging out with a homeless man. Another player walks into the saloon but he seems friendly enough. But then he pulls a gun on Mato and so I pull a gun on him but give him a chance to chill. He stands down but then pulls a gun on us again and so we have to put him 
him down. Sorry Chief, it's the Wild West, you can't walk into a saloon waving a revolver around at other players and expect to survive. I head over to the general store to get some apples for my horse and some Viagra for me, but then old mate comes back for revenge with his weapon drawn, aiming straight at Marto, and so of course we have to put him down again. I find it funny how Marto and I kill each other all the time, but as soon as a random player tries to kill us, we take it super personally. My character is looking kind of dull, so I decide to spice things up a bit with a fresh new hat. I go for something ridiculously flashy, like those midlife crisis induced men you see driving around in those tiny brightly coloured sports cars. Great energy, but terrible execution. Anyway, after my extremely questionable $152 purchase, I notice that this dude is back again. Luckily you can't engage in combat in this store, or he would have probably capped me while I was browsing hats. We decide to smoke this guy one more time before we get out of here, and so we run out the front of the store and wait for him to exit the building, and then shoot him the second he steps out. Pro tip, if you're going to try and be a bandit, toxic, griefer type player, which is honestly fine by me as it makes the Wild West gameplay way more fun, just take your bloody shot using the element of surprise, don't just stand there pointing your gun at people because obviously they'll just kill you. I love that this other player is just out the front here like WTF did I just witness. So if we are going to play some poker, we need to try to raise some funds for Marto, and unfortunately now me too. I mean I try to live life without many regrets, but I definitely regret buying this dodgy ask burlesque looking pirate hat. As part of the recent update, there is a new mission out in Tumbleweed that we decide is the perfect way to earn some quick cash. Now Tumbleweed is not exactly close by, and riding horses long distances in this game, well, let me just say first how much I love Red Dead Redemption. Both the first and the second game are two of my favourite of all time, but riding horses across the state for the 150th time is boring as shit. Luckily we can just fast travel, a purist's nightmare. At the fast travel station there is a dog, and you know damn well I stopped to pat it. In one video, I did what Jon Snow took an entire season and a 90 million dollar budget to do. So we fast travel to Tumbleweed, and you know what they say about Tumbleweed. Don't take a dump in the morning, because then you'll have nothing to do in the afternoon. The sheriff is like, hey there gentlemen, can you help this seedy Malacca find his wife? She ran away from him because she was basically basically being held as a prisoner against her will, and doesn't love him at all. As we are morally bankrupt, we agree to help. In fact, I think we have basically just agreed to be human traffickers, but let's try not to overthink it. So we head out to Twin Rocks to see if we can find this woman. As we get closer, we realise there is a lot of armed guards, so we decide to try and take them down stealthily. One of the guards hears me, and slowly starts walking up, and so I get ready to take him down. He then shouts out to his crew, there's a cross-dressing junk hiding behind that rock, and they open fire. I'll have you know mate, that this hat is actually unisex. We decide to do the mature thing, and cowardly hide on a hill, taking out all of the enemies from a safe distance. Once they are all dead, we head inside the house where this young lady is presumably hiding. She comes out with Hugh Jackman, and they plead for their miserable little lives, asking us to help them escape as they are in love. I think this young couple might have confused us with the online dating website eHarmony, and Marto and I proceed to gun Hugh Jackman down in cold blood. We tie up the woman ready for transport, but then Marto says he wants to see if he can throw her through a table. I mean, I don't see any problem with that. We put her on Big D my horse, and head for Tumbleweed. The horse ride gives me a brief insight into the living hell it must be for Uber drivers. I mean, she whines for the entire trip. You killed my boyfriend, blah blah. Like you'd think we'd murdered every last man in the world. Has she not heard the phrase, there are more fish in the sea? We get back to the sheriff's office and complete the mission. Jokes aside, I actually somehow feel bad for not helping the young couple escape afterwards. I feel like if a game can make me feel bad, about the decisions I've made, then they're doing a pretty good job. But I mean, 20 bucks is 20 bucks. And I also patted another dog right after the mission, so you know I'm a top bloke. Now that we have enough cash, it's time to dabble in a little poker. The game won't let Marto and I play at the same table, because I guess they think friends would just talk to each other and cheat. Which like obviously we were planning to do, I mean we just sold a woman for $20, so well played Rockstar. So we each join separate tables and get down 
down to business. I must say this guy covering his face like he's about to perform a robbery is a little bit disconcerting but I play it cool. I won't show you too much of the poker as it's probably a bit boring and by that I mean I'll just show you this one huge pot I won and edit out all of the hands I lost. And basically I declared to the table that I don't even fold my laundry and then bet big on the pre-flop and then hit a two pair on the turn like a boss. Total luck but we take those. As I exit the saloon it becomes immediately apparent that someone has massacred everyone in the town. All the bodies are facing the same way, it's some creepy sh Glad to see the butcher isn't at all phased by all of the dead bodies literally surrounding his stall though. People are out there faking sick to get out of work and this legend shows up through rain, hail, shine, or apparently during a terrorist attack. Employee of the month material. You haven't really played Red Dead until you have robbed a train though and so we set out to find a train. Which goes terribly as we look for ages and find nothing. I then google if there even is trains in online mode and supposedly there is only one on the entire map. That's a yikes from me. Without a train to rob, we decide to do the next best thing, which we agree is jousting each other with hunting knives. We have a huge collision which knocks us both off our horses, but somehow only Marto dies. Who needs to play Mordhau when you have train tracks and big Ds? Marto then spear tackles me out of nowhere, knocking my new hat off, and then plunges a knife through like all of my coronary arteries. Strangely, I am more annoyed that he knocked my hat off than stabbed me. Stabbing someone is good clean fun, but knocking another man's hat off is worse than sleeping with their wife. The last activity on our to-do list was to go fishing. Not exactly the best weather for a fishing trip, but real men don't let the weather get in the way, nor do they show any emotion at all. It's healthier to bottle it all up, trust me. It takes me all night to catch a fish. I was actually kind of hoping they made fishing faster in the game than it is in real life, but I guess faster isn't always better. Just don't tell that to my girlfriend. Marto doesn't manage to catch a fish, but he says there is no way that he is going hungry tonight and so he decides to try and catch something much more dangerous and tasty, a human. We find and kill a human, and then we kill him a few more times just to be safe. Everybody knows the more you kill a human, the better they taste, so don't be stingy with your bullets now. We take the human meat back to our camp as Marto wants to show me his secret recipe. Ready, steady, cook. So he explains that firstly you want to cook the meat by completely lighting it on fire. Sort of seems like a dangerous amount of carcinogenics but I'm not the chef here, Marto is. He then says you want to marinate the body in a freshwater river. Letting the body float downstream gives the dish an earthy flavour. The body is then placed next to the fire again so it can slowly dry out over the next four to six hours to give the meal sufficient time to breathe. I was always against cannibalism but I must say this human meat puts KFC to shame. I give Mato's dish a well deserved 4 out of 5 chef hats. And thanks for watching, you legends, and a massive thank you to my patrons for supporting the channel through Patreon. Until next time, and as always, stay classy.